Hey, what's going on everybody? My name's Dr. P and welcome back today for another video. Now in this one guys, we have a lot of interesting things to talk about regarding the fifth rune and the status of it, or lack thereof, I should say. Make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe, or at least consider it if you like what you see. As a reminder, I'm uploading every day covering the very latest in the Fortnite storyline, covering everything you need to know. Of course, shout out to these legends and the entire Fruit Faction for using my support a creator code, it's PineapplesYT. If you want to be featured in an upcoming video, just send me a screenshot on Twitter. Alright, so here we go. Remember how in yesterday's video I said it looks like the rune is going to spawn today at noon. Sure enough, today at noon the rune activated and spawned here in the volcano. Very quickly, it was realized that you have to dump materials inside the volcano. Literally just let it fall all the way down and you have to power it up and feed the volcano that way until the meter actually rose all the way to the top. There's a meter on that logo on the rune. During this process, the volcano was pulsing like this, looking like it was just about ready to erupt, and there is unbelievable shaking all around the map. You'll see here, when you sit down, even when you are not even touching the ground in the air, your screen is going to shake violently and viciously. This happens, or it happened, pretty much everywhere you stood on the map. And as you can imagine, it's quite frustrating when you're actually trying to play the game, especially when you're nowhere near the volcano. Anyway, the community banded together pretty quickly and fed the volcano, and the event, or at least this part of the event, was over in somewhere around 15 to 20 minutes based on my calculations. Now, it goes without saying, that was very quick, most likely way quicker than Epic ever intended. And see, that's where this starts to get a little complicated. The rune glitched, literally just teleported out of the volcano and wound up at Salty Springs. And you can tell it's glitched because it's number one, just completely in the ground. And number two, this is just where all things that get glitched end up, you know, Salty Springs is the literal center of the map, coordinates 0, 0, so I guess naturally when something just glitches out like this, it just gets teleported to the center of the map. Now, I'm not exactly sure when, but at some point, the volcano just stopped accepting mats. This was probably around the same time that it glitched out and went to Salty Springs, and the volcano also stopped actually pulsing like I showed you just a second ago, where it looked like an eruption was pretty much imminent. So, basically what happened is, all the players who thought they had just completed the last rune step, were really confused why the rune, instead of going from the volcano to Loot Lake, went from the volcano to Salty Springs. That was a real head scratcher. And then the rune at Salty Springs literally just disappeared. And the middle of Loot Lake has gone back to pre-activation mode, meaning it's as if nothing ever even happened today. Epic just completely reset everything that's been done today, and there are a couple theories. Number one, like I said before, we really just finished this way too quick, uh, at least quicker than Epic was expecting. So maybe they literally just could not proceed and let the event actually happen because they never planned for it to be happening this early. Another very likely theory, and honestly it might be a combination of the two, the screen shaking was absurd. Even when you're in the air, you're still shaking. That doesn't make any sense at all. I imagine for that short time in-game that the screen was shaking, it cost a lot of people a chance at a win or, you know, something like that. And I can definitely see how that could get aggravating. Maybe Epic just pulled an audible and said, all right, we're just going to reset this, figure out a different way to do it, because obviously we've messed up here. So now we're left with the question, when is the rune going to spawn for the second time? I can honestly tell you I did not expect this to happen, this glitch that literally just throws the whole thing off. I did a live stream on YouTube today. What you're seeing in the background is gameplay from that stream in which I was actually trying to gather a hundred people in a custom custom lobby to go and deposit wood, materials, and all sorts of stuff into the volcano. I was hyped, I had so many people ready to go, and we got to work only to realize that this thing had glitched out so bad. And it was to the point where we couldn't even do anything because the event was plain and simple glitched. It was really confusing for me because at the time, I didn't know if the rune had just moved somewhere else. I mean, it had moved to Salty by 
absolute randomness. So I was looking around the map trying to figure out where it could have been just to realize that yeah, it was a glitch and it actually doesn't mean anything. So as far as when the rune is going to spawn back, it could be today. I mean, it happened one time today already, so maybe they'll do it again. Maybe they're trying actively right now to fix whatever issue it was that made it happen so fast because I'm assuming it was supposed to take like a day or something. Maybe it'll come back today, but based on what I'm reading, it looks like it's more likely that it could spawn back at the same time it did today, tomorrow, noon. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't glitch again the second time. That would be kind of embarrassing, but anyway, Really, really excited to see what happens still. It's a little bit of a disappointment that it spawned. I got really excited. The community got really excited. And boom, it's just uh, got to be reset. Regardless, though, we won't have to wait long. And it's still going to be very awesome. And I'm extremely excited about it. We have a little bit of an advantage now, though. We know what the rune challenge is going to be. It's going to be depositing a whole bunch of materials into the lava here at the volcano. Once this thing is live, we need to team up. We need to go and get this done as fast as possible. The faster we get it done, the faster we can get on to the event. We know some things about what's going to happen, and we don't know other things. One thing that we know for sure is going to happen is we're going to have to vote on one item in the vault to come back. Now, you know the options. The drum gun, the tactical SMG, the plane, the bouncers, the infinity blade, and the trusty old grappler. It seems to me that the favorites are the tactical SMG and the drum gun. Those are the two that I see talked about the most. I'm personally going to be voting for the drum gun, and I'm not trying to say that to influence your decision. Obviously, you need to vote for whatever you think would be the best to come back, but I do. I really think the drum gun would be awesome. It's really fun to use. Fast fire rate, but balanced by the bloom and fall off damage at range. Just overall, a really fun weapon. I'm super curious. Let me know in the comments section which one you are going to be voting for. Hashtag Team Drum Gun. Say that five times fast. A really, really cool map change that they did today, and I noticed it kind of late. My stream actually pointed it out to me, but look at this. The golems have been reunited at long last. They both traveled through the lava to each other. That's true love right there. And you see, they've been reunited right before the final rune gets activated. The timing is pretty spot on. And I'll be really curious to find out what the heck they actually mean. This storyline has been dragged out. It's been pretty irrelevant for the most part. Just two statues trying to get to each other. But clearly it means something that they keep updating it for all these seasons. So now that they're reunited, I'm excited to see what happens. Maybe it's nothing. Maybe it literally is nothing. But I don't expect it to be. Like I said before in the video, we know a lot about what's going on. We know there's going to be a voting thing in the middle for the Nexus. We know the volcano is going to erupt, but outside of those basic parameters, we don't really know anything else. And honestly, that's how I like it. I don't want to know every single thing. I don't want it to be literally just leaked all the way. I like for us to get bits and pieces of info that's leaked place it together to form a theory. That's what I love, and obviously you know I love it because that's what my videos are. I find the storyline for Fortnite to be so incredibly interesting and different from most games, especially for any other BR. It's what keeps a lot of people playing or at least still checking up on the game because they want to see what happens. They want to follow all the events that have been going on since Season 3. That's when the story officially started, when the comet appeared in the sky. My hype levels right now for what's about to go down in the game are through the roof. Even after that whole mess up today with the rune glitching out, I thought we were about to witness something, but Epic wasn't ready. They had to reset it. If something happens today before I get around to making another video tomorrow, I will be sure to leave a comment and pin it so you can go ahead and read any changes or updates. Rest assured though, I will have a video out tomorrow covering what's gone on. I expect the rune will have respawned by then, hopefully with no mishaps. Thanks so much for watching guys, I really appreciate your time. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed what you saw. I'll catch you in the next one, and until then my friends, take it easy and peace out.